Hello, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Now, today I'm doing something a little bit different on my uh, Let's Play. What I'm actually going to be doing is a uh, a rare commodities trade route because um, basically I'm trying to get some more money for my uh, to upgrade my ASP. I mean, I'm almost got it fully upgraded at the moment, but I need a bit more to get the last few uh, pieces I need for it. Now, uh, since the um, the luxury run that I was doing back in um, back in the Tench system has uh, pretty much died now. Uh, it didn't last very long. I have a feeling that uh, Frontier have nerfed the duration of these things. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not news to other people because they probably read more the Reddit posts and all the forum posts more than I do. But, like I said, I'm planning to do uh, basically a rare trade run. So I thought, because it was, it was asked of me before, so I thought, yeah, I might as well kill two birds with one stone. So I'm sitting here in the uh, Hornby Terminal in uh, the Witch Hall system. And uh, basically, I've got a long, long trip ahead of me. But thankfully for you guys, you're not going to be sitting there watching most of it like I have to. But uh, right now, I am flying around in my, in my trusty Type 6 again. I've bought this again because after upgrading my ASP, I don't really have that much. Didn't have that much uh, money left over to, uh, to buy myself uh, a Type 7 again. Well, that's fine. Uh, for this ship is more than enough for what I need in uh, in this run. So what we're going to do is we are going to jump into the commodity market, and what we're looking for is any commodities that are basically in yellow. So we're going to go for the Witchall uh, Cobra beef. Now it says it's got high supply, but it's only five. But these are luxury items. It's not luxury items. Even these are rare items. So what we're going to do is we're basically just going to fill up on this one. And then we're going to go and have a look for our next port of call, which is... Uh, where are we? Let's see if I can find it in... Uh, in the list here without having to go into the galaxy map. Maybe not. Alright, okay, so looks like I'm going to have to go into the galaxy map, because the next one I am after is... where are we? Wolf 1301. There we go. Right, how far away is that? 22 light years. Alrighty, let's go for the fastest route instead. Yep, straight line. Okay. As I'm going to be going straight to... Uh, Basically straight to an orbital. I don't. I'm not going to worry about refuel about uh, fuel costs really. I'm not going to be running out of fuel here. Now, what I am doing though is I'm actually playing this in open play. <laughs> Ship yeah. I like to live dangerously. Landing gear retracted. I already tried to get interdicted earlier today by uh, a couple of NPCs and a player pirate. The player pirate was amusing. He interdicted me, just yelled cargo, and expected me to drop all uh, all the cargo I had. My response was, uh, how about no? <laughs> and then I just boosted off, turned off the, um, uh, the flight assist, and uh, managed to get away quite smartly. He wasn't a very good pirate. Frame shift drive charging. But yeah, no. Uh, this is actually quite a good way of uh, making money. From what I've understood, from what I've read on the Reddit post, Four, three, um, two, you can earn one, mm, about half a million, maybe. Uh, no, no, not half a million. Like 1.2 million per uh, round trip or something, which could be. I think I'm not sure, but I think it takes about. If you're not very, uh, if you're not, if you're not that, uh, if you're basically if you're new at it, it can take about an hour or so, maybe 
round trip? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll take longer if you haven't got a fuel scoop because you've got to go the um, the more efficient route. Uh, yeah. So instead of actually basically going the shortest route, you've got to go the uh, the more fuel efficient, the, the, the economical route. That's the what it was called. But yeah, this week I'm not going to be basically flying around blowing shit up as I usually like to do I'm going to leave that for a minute until I've fully upgraded my ASP ok it looks like I'm going a bit, coming in a bit too fast so let's dip off, put on the space brakes and come back in so we're heading into Saunders Dive I'm not quite sure what the um, the commodity is we're going to be picking up here because I haven't actually uh, been here yet. I tried out the first half of the leg already, but I haven't actually tried this side yet. So we'll see how this works. I'm thinking at the moment, I'm going to check out how much the max, well, the maximum amount of cargo I'm going to be carrying at one point is. And then if it's below a certain amount, I might be able to start taking my ASP for this instead. Because I would feel a lot safer having uh, flying around in my ASP. Docking request granted. Whereas uh, flying around the hall like this one, it really does basically leave me flying around a big target painted on my back especially since like I said I am doing this in open play at the moment which is probably not the best of ideas if I end up getting blown up you guys can just uh, chirp in and go ha ha you're an idiot <laughs> and I will not argue and controlled. It's one of the things I absolutely love about the uh, <laughs> analogue throttle. Right, pad 32, there it is. Let's put a landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. Oh, I'm overshooting somewhat. Yeah, I'm a bit more used to my ASP at the moment. <laughs> I keep changing. I keep. I keep chopping and changing ships all the time, so I'm Nothing having to get used to them all the Engines time. Disengaged. All right. So, what we're we picking up here then? Oh, that's for fuel commodities market. So that's what we picked up at the last place. Here we go. Uh, wolf fish. All right. Okay. So fill up on that. There's only four at the moment. Apparently, if you sit around for about ten, fifteen, maybe twenty minutes or so, these might refresh. Um, depends on what your actual limit is on the uh, the items. Now these things are these uh, commodities are a little bit different than uh, most standard commodities. As you can see here, their galactic average there is 11,000 there, but I could sell it here for, um, let's double check, there you go, 4,572. But that's only because I've only jumped 22 light years. The further I go, the further I go away from, uh, there we go, let's see it. Rare goods increase in value the farther uh, farther you travel from their point of purchase. Now what happens is basically every light year I jump away from where I bought these, these things actually increase in value. Uh, the thing is though they cap out at around about 150, 170 light years. 
But uh, the run we're doing actually takes that into consideration, so that's actually really quite nice. And I want to do is jump out, jump quickly back in, and have a look again. Nah, it's still not come back again, so that's fine. But apparently, I could buy a lot of narcotics here. I'm not going to do that though, because they're usually quite prohibited in almost every station I go to. So I'm not going to risk that. Now, the next place we are going is a place called Fujin. Where is this? Let's see if I can find it here first. Do 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 Fujin, Fujin, where are you? You know what, it's probably just faster if I just check <laughs> the galaxy map. So, the next one is Fujin. There it is, 22 light years away. There we go, I should be able to make that jump. Yeah, my jump range is currently 27 light years. Yeah, I can make that easy. Although jumping straight there is going to be basically meaning I spend uh, exponentially more on fuel than what if I would actually take the um, the economical route. But I'm trying to I'm trying to do this in as quick a time as possible, so I'm not worrying too much about that right now. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Right, so where we're going is pretty much behind. go, Fujin. Now I have actually pretty much upgraded this ship to have the best the best frame shift drive possible. Flight assist off. So that's basically doing the uh, the shorter jumps makes my uh, gives well it basically gives my ship the best fuel economy that I can get so I'm not spending so much. Flight assist on Per, per jump, really. Charging. But doing the longer jumps like this, it's um, the amount of fuel that I use gets exponentially more. Because it seems like if I do like a six or an eight Four, uh, light year three, jump, I'm only using two, like one, not use about two or three percent of my tank. If I do a twenty light year, it seems like I'm using like ten percent. So it just seems like the fuel uh, the fuel consumption goes up exponentially. So price wise, it, it, and everything, trying to make uh, money, it would be set more sensible for me to go to uh, to go the uh, the efficient way. But I'm too lazy to do that right now. I want to get there fast. And this is basically just giving you guys the uh, the basic gist of what's going on here. And I'm pretty sure this is the spaceport that I need to go to, because I'm not sure if there's any other... Yeah, yeah. It's the only one on the system anyway. Because I'm pretty sure that most of these um, systems only have one or two spaceports in them anyway. And it's usually the lot It's always a larger one that we go to. So I do think we're going to be ending up this run in the George Lucas... Uh, space terminal. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Okay, so here we are in uh, food spaceport, and what are we after here? Let's see which one we're actually uh, picking up here. So I'll refuel again. Again, it's costing me about a thousand credits. That's really cutting into my profits. Uh, a fuel scooper pro probably wouldn't go amiss here. But anyway, here we go. That's what we want. Fusion T. And they've got six here. So let's pick all those up. And then we are heading over to our next section. I'm actually going to go straight into the uh, galaxy map this time because I can't be bothered to spend all the time looking for everything. So we're after 39. Uh, Tauri. There we go. No, that wasn't so hard. 
And yeah, it's 13 light years, so that's not the, the worst. But yes, now, uh, ever since I had my uh, my ASP almost fully upgraded, it's been a joy to fly. <laughs> Especially with the best engines. Oh man, that's amazing. It, 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 it basically just jumps to a whole new tier of manoeuvrability. I mean, I got interdicted earlier today whilst I was on my way to uh, Liste. And um, but I, I, for some reason, I got interdicted by an eagle. And I'm sitting there going, so he interdicts me. And basically, I just boost off. And, uh, without turning, uh, frame, uh, without turning the, um, the flight assist off, I just managed to, uh, flip my ship around, whack my, whack the Asp into reverse. Frame shift drive and I'm reversing only as, only a smidgen slower than he's actually going forwards. So I just turn around, bring my guns on to him, and, and I just type to him, Yes? Why did you interdict me? And he goes, Uh, Four, no reason. Three, so there I go, alright, okay. One, turn around, fl spin, spin myself back the right way again, boost off, and then they just ignore him. <laughs> I think I gave him a bit of a brown trouser moment. It's always fun doing that. But then speaking about brown trouser moments, I've had a few doing this one so far. And I haven't done the whole run yet, like I said, I only practiced the first bit. But yeah, I, it does appear that this is where we are going here. The uh, Porter Space Station. Now it's nearly a thousand light, uh, light seconds out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump ahead to... Uh, basically to when I'm docking, like I did before. I don't want, get, I don't want you guys to just sit around waiting to watch me uh, flying. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Landing gear deployed. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Okie dokie, so let's find out what we're getting from here. That wasn't so bad, only 301 credits. Alright, okay, so it's Tally Chimes we're after here, and they've only got three so far, so okay. So I'll stock up on those, and I do believe that uh, this is the last section, the last uh, part of this leg. So, what I need to do is start heading uh, towards. Where is it? Here we go. This is where I've got to start going towards. Zounds. But uh, it's going to take me a while there. A while there? A while to get here. Because that's pretty much nearly 170 light years. So obviously I'm not going to make you sit through watching this bit. So I will see you guys as soon as I get here. Okay, well, we've made it up back up into uh, Zounds. And we're heading now to the Ridley Scott station. Uh, basically to pick up our next lot of... Uh, rare goods and this is where we start need to start getting a little bit more um, uh, careful because there are a bunch in, uh, at least in this leg I have come across a fair amount of player pirates so like I said this, this is the time when we want to get a little bit more careful but if you're doing this in um, in solo play then it's not going to be a big deal because then all you're going to have to deal with, as usual, is the, the usual sweep of um, AI, AI pirates. But it looks at the moment where, as I've got no, no issues at the moment with that. But 
moment, yes. It's been about, hmm, about 20 minutes maybe since I set off from uh, 39 Taudi. So it's not been too long. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Okay, so we're now docked at Ridley Scott. Now, that's not bad here. 4,000 uh, credits for a pretty much 100 and... It's a 168 light year trip. That's not bad at all. Alright, so what do we want here? Well, what we have here are leathery eggs. Ooh, they don't sound that appetising. Let's see. There they are. Yeah, okay, so they're not eaten at least. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, let's, let's just have a look back again. Because as you can see, like we've got the Taudi chimes. Uh, actually, that's the closest one. No, it's the closest one. What we want is the... There we go. This one here. If we sell this now, it's going to be for about... Uh, 22,113 credits which is the most we're going to get for this but I'm not going to sell this just yet I'm going to wait until I get to the last uh, the last um, station and sell it there now after the Ridley Scott the uh, the state uh, the system we're after is the DSO system where's that DSO there we are Engines engaged. Landing now, like I said, retracted. this is around here. We need to be wary of pirates. I mean, we're not likely to run into them just here, but uh, at this leg of the journey, at least, it is very likely we're going to start running into player pirates. Because uh, let's be honest, it's not only traders that know about the trade runs here. Now, as soon as we're out of uh, mass lock. Flight assist off. We'll jump over to DSO. Flight assist on. Frameshift drive charging. And then we'll go and get the uh, the commodities from this from that system. Four, three, two, one, engage. Now, thankfully, while the uh, pretty much the 170 uh, light year trip was completely uneventful, there was a couple of times I got a little worried. Oh, here we go. There's an asp there. That looks a little bit uh, not exactly promising. There we go. So let's keep an eye on him and see where the hell he's going. All right, he's heading straight to the sist straight to the uh, the starport. So I don't believe he's going to bother us. And he's clean as well, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, no, it was completely uneventful, thankfully. But then again, it is just uh, basically just jumping into a system, jumping out, jumping in, jumping out. It basically took longer than it really should have, because for the simple fact of that the uh, the route planner is not at its uh, best at the moment. Thankfully, that's getting fixed in 1.1, where you can basically plot up to a a, a 1,000 light year trip in one go, and it only takes like couple of seconds to do it. I've not tried with a thousand light years yet. The best I tried was uh, 200 light years and it only took me three seconds to plot that route. Which is an absolute massive uh, uh, upgrade as to what it is now. Because right at the moment you've pretty much just got to go about ten systems at a time really. Again. 
I always feel rude if I don't actually uh, reply <laughs> to people. Right, okay, that's a viper. He's very unlikely to be a pirate. Hmm. Getting a bit iffy now. He's asking if I'm trading. <laughs> I think maybe it's best that I don't, I really don't answer that one. But it's too late now. Anyway, I've dropped back into uh, the port. Docking request granted. I have a feeling I'm gonna. Have, I have a feeling I'm gonna have enough trouble around here in open play without actually advertising what I'm doing. And with the Asp being one of the uh, pirate ships of choice, yeah, I'm not going to be saying anything. Just because he's clean in this system doesn't mean he's not in, uh, in other jurisdictions. But if, I, if somebody does take me out, I am going to make sure that I come back with a vengeance in my asp. <laughs> Landing gear deployed. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Because at the moment I'm planning to maybe just run this run, a few, uh, running, run this run for the rest of the week maybe. Earn as much as I can, get my asp upgraded as much as I possibly can and give myself a head start towards the, the python possibly. But I'm not going to rush into that one just yet. Right, so where are we now? We're in Deso. So what is it that we are buying from here? Ah, right, there we go. Deso Micorn. Okay, we've got ten of those now. So we'll buy all those. And exit that out. And the next place we are after is uh, Orada. So where is that? I know at least on this leg it's easy to find the uh, different sections we're going to here. The different sections, this isn't systems even. So off to Orada now. I'm probably butchering these bloody uh, <laughs> pronunciations as per usual. But yes. No, I'll tell you what though, actually playing this in open play actually gives me uh, more, than, more than my fair share of brown trouser moments, but more than that, Ship it released. kind of adds a Engines bit of engaged. suspense Landing gear retracted. To, uh, to the game, really. I mean, as per usually, like I said, I usually like to run these kind of things in solo, but... Um, as, it's th as this is my... Uh, my let's play day. I thought, sod it. I'll do it in open play. The worst they can do is kill me. Yeah, I have a feeling he's going to try and kill me. And steal my cargo. Can't I? Oh, that's why. Ah, whatever. Sorry, I can't be bothered. Frame shift drive charging. Be careful now. Got out of fire zone. <laughs> Three, two, one, engage. Although he's actually very uh, well versed in this. Um, in this run or not. But yeah, I've been having this a little bit as well, where I keep hanging. There we go. I keep hanging whilst jumping from one system to the next. Not sure what it is. It might, it might be lag on my end, it might be uh, just a problem with the server cluster. But nobody here so far. Right, so where am I going? Sharon Lee Free Market. Where is that? Up this way.
All right, it's another thousand light, uh, another thousand light seconds. So, as before, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, it's around about. Ah, there we go. I knew I was going to get uh, interdicted here. So that's fighting. It's usually fairly easy to do so, even in a bucket such as this. And if I do feel like I'm going to lose, I'm going to fail my my uh, escape. I'll just submit before it gets before the uh, the blue bar gets too high, uh, the red bar gets too high even. Because then uh, I'm not going to be going into uh, emergency uh, frame shift cooldown, and then I can just basically just boost off and uh, get away. I mean, thankfully I've had a lot of practice at evading interdictions. It's only really um, player interdictions that uh, give me much trouble anymore. It is even more worrying at times, considering the fact that I'm not even... I don't even carry any weapons on this bucket. Docking request granted. But... Um, there's no point, really. I, mean, I only get two small hard points, I believe. Not 100% certain on that one. But... Uh, I have a feeling that uh, actually trying to use them would be like spitting in the wind, really. It'd be almost pointless. Right, so where are we? There we are. Landing gear deployed. Successful. Engines disengaged. So, what are we after this time? No, it's not that one. Where are we? There we go. Orion Vicious Brew. Whew. That sounds nice. I wouldn't mind getting myself a couple of bottles of that in real life. A drink so high in caffeine and natural sugars that it is often <laughs> often classified as a narcotic. Okay. <laughs> so it's basically an energy drink. Okay. Cool. Right, so the next place we are after is uh, Lava. Ah, bugger it. Uh, there we are. That was easy. And with these medium, uh, Ship these medium landing pads, I have more than enough time landing to actually uh, select my uh, next destination. Frameshift charge detected. Okay. Yeah, I'm not worried about him. I don't have. I, I, I don't feel as though Pythons are a very practical piracy ship. They're more uh, trade or and or bounty hunting. Frameshift drive charging. I didn't even spot that. So we're ne nearing the end of the uh, of this trip. Four, three, two. Well, we only have one, one more station engage. left after uh, Larve, and that's Lesty. And that's back to where my asp is stowed. Slow down a little, find out where I'm going. Larve 
station. Let's go this way. There we go. There's the python, actually. And I could be wrong in the fact that he might be trying to... He's not going to interdict. He's actually ahead of us. So I'm not too worried. Yeah, let's have a look at the other guy. Now the cobra, that's something a bit more to be worried about. But he's clearing this uh, sector, so... There we go. We've got another cobra behind us. Ooh, better slow down. But he's not going to catch us up anywhere near in time for me to actually uh, jump out. And he's dropped out anyway. He's probably gone into the uh, the nav beacon. I mean, when I'm flying around, I'm usually the most wary of uh, cobras and asps. There's not too much else that I'm generally quite wary of. And pretty much, uh, this this ship isn't actually that slow, so I can outrun a lot, especially when uh, when you uh, disengage the uh, the flight assist. Because as soon as you turn the flight assist off, um, you're not decelerating after you've pressed the boost. Uh, you are well, you are decelerating, but your ship's not actively decelerating. You. So you're basically just going faster for longer. And uh, if you're boosting as often as you, as you can, you're generally only dropping down like maybe 5% of your top speed. So you can pretty much outrun almost anything. I mean, you'll come across the odd pilot that knows what, they knows what they're doing more than, the, more than the rest. Well, those are so few and far between. Request granted. Flight assist off. But yes, at the moment, what I'm doing is like I said, I'm just doing all these. Oh, he's found me again. Bloody hell. Detected. I'm starting, I'm starting to think I've got a stalker. I think this guy's developed an unhealthy fascination with me. Landing gear deployed. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Nah, I'm not going to bother replying to him. As much as that goes against my usual mantra of doing things. Right, okay, so what are we after here? There we go, Lavi and Brandy. That's what we're picking up. So, we've got six of those for 21,000. Okay, and the last system that we're after is the uh, Leasty system. Where is it? There it is. Very short jump over. Landing gear retracted. 
Alright, I give it. I can't not say anything. I feel too much like an arsehole already for ignoring him this long. So, off we go again. So, this last port of call for this uh, leg of the journey, at least. And we're about to, end, about to leave Maslock. There we go. Frameshift drive charging. There's a human player. I keep saying human player. <laughs> There's a player. Thing. It seems the guy was just after conversation. Which is nice, but unfortunately when I'm recording I can't really uh, reply all that much. And especially when I'm sitting on this amount of money, it does, it, it does kind of worry me sometimes. Where are we? There we go. Back to George Lucas. Back to where this all started. Well, for me at least, anyway. Right, there we go, we have an asp behind us. Thankfully he doesn't seem to be too interested in us. Ah, that or he hasn't noticed. Ah, that or he's a bounty hunter. He's just doing something else. Or maybe not, it looks like he's trying to follow us, maybe. But we're way too far ahead for him to, to get worried. I mean, thankfully this leg of the journey has... Uh, been fairly uneventful. I've not been... I've been interdicted once so far on this, but it looks like I might possibly get interdicted again. I've got two ships behind me. But they're, uh, they're both AI, so I'm not too worried about that. And I'm pretty much coming... Uh, closing in on George Lucas Terminal now. Well, George... Uh, yeah. The George Lucas uh, starport. And we've got somebody else coming. It looks like I'm pretty much home free now. Although, watch me say this and I get interdicted at the last minute. <laughs> nah, I think I think we're fine. There we go. We made it completely without incident. I'd have got re <laughs> I'd have been extremely pissed if uh, <laughs> if I got this far and got blown up right at the last little right at the last uh, <laughs> in the home stretch. Oh, looks like George Lucas can't decide whether he's friends with me or not. Well, looks like somebody's been naughty. Oh, shite. There we go. Would help if I actually remember to... Uh, <laughs> to uh, request docking and not actually stress too much about paying attention. Docking request denied. Oh, thank you. There we go. Docking, re docking privileges restored. Docking request granted. I go, that could have ended badly. <laughs> that would have, have been nobody's fault but my own. Right, dock pad 35. Where's that? There it is. A 
under attack. Right, okay. Landing gear deployed. I'm not going to worry too much <laughs> about being under attack right now. Engines disengaged. Okay, so let's have a look at how much, uh, well, basically how much we made from the opposite side of uh, of this. Well, basically, basically from all the resources we've got from Witch Hall, the Wolf 1301, Fujin, and uh, 39 Taudi. So let's see what we got for those. So back into the commodities market. Uh, where do we get these from? So I think I think these are a bit closer from what we want. So we got uh, so 39 Taudi, the Tauri Chimes. Sell all those, so that's all three of those, and that's 47,000 profit. Uh, next one, where's the Witch Hall Cobra Beef? Now that's uh, 87,000. The next one was Fujin, Fujin Tea. There we go. So that's 96,000. Alright, the next one. We've done Taudi, done Fujin, done Witch Hall. It's just a Wolf 1301. What now? What do we get from there? I can't really remember. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's definitely not that one. It's definitely not Diso. It's not Azores. So it's going to be the Leathery Eggs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it sounds about right. So we'll sell the Leathery Eggs. Oh, we have. Oh, it's just one. Okay. Profit two? Okay, that can't be right. Yeah, no, that's not right. So where, what was the last one again? Alright, okay, I'll I'm at a loss, I think I might have already sold it. But oh well. Now these items here, I'm not going to sell here. What I'm going to have to do is basically just uh, turn around and do the return trip all the way back to uh, Witch Hall. But instead of actually going straight to uh, 39 Taudi, I need to go straight back to, uh, to Larve, pretty much. And then to Aurora again, then to Diso, then to uh, Zaunce. And basically go and check whether or not I've got uh, everything there. I mean, look at this. Whilst I've been mucking about here. I can buy some more uh, Azura milk. Looks like the 4th of July in here. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much that's the... Um, that is the uh, the rare trading goods. You basically just fly back and forth between these. Going to every... You, basically, like I said, I've just come back... For, I, I went from Witch Hall to Wolf uh, 1301 to Fujin to 39 Tauri. To Zawun, to Diso, to Aurora, to Lava, and then to uh, Liste. And then all I do is I just re I just reverse the reverse the list around again and fly back and try and pick up all the items once again. And then I don't sell anything until I get to the end. Now what I really should have done is actually made a list of things of the items that I uh, bought at the different. Uh, uh, the, basically the different spaceports but being me I didn't think of doing that so when I do this again I'm actually gonna put a list down and actually make sure I know what the hell I'm doing because this was my first time properly doing this I mean I only, I only practiced about half of it before so a couple more times and I'll have this down properly but I think from uh, from now on, I want to do this in uh, in solo play for a while but uh, yeah, I mean, this side of it, I made around about five hundred to six hundred thousand credits, maybe. Not quite sure. I probably could have made more, but I think I might have mucked up on something. 
But as soon as I get back to the other side, I'll be able to make another amount of money again. Oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Lost my trail of thought a second there. It's nice to see this thing's working as intended. But yeah, well, I hope this has actually been uh, of some use to you guys. Because um, this is the first time I've been trying it properly. But uh, yeah, it does seem like a very good, um, consistent way of making money. It's never going to be as fast uh, to make money doing this as it is to do the, the luxury trading runs. But uh, it seems like those things are, put, are moving around so much more often now, so it's harder and harder to actually make those work for you. At least in my experience. I mean, I just found the Tench one straight after... Um, uh, straight after Beta Sculptoris died. So uh, this seems like a very good way of uh, consistently making money. I mean, I could just go back to um, uh, to Thrud's trading tool and actually use that use that to uh, find myself another trading route. But since I'm back in the um, the Type Six, I think it's probably a better option for me to do this at the moment because it doesn't seem to take up as much cargo space. I mean, I've sold a part of the leg and I've only got 26 more items left in here. So it's not a big, uh, not that many items in here. So what I might actually do is try doing this in my uh, my asp to make it look a bit little less or a little bit more. If I do decide to do it in open play, to, uh, well, a to make it look less likely that I'm actually doing uh, trading, and b that if I do actually get interdicted and I do fail it, I can actually just turn around and blow them out of the attack. sky and actually make money doing. Um, bounty hunting at the same time. Oh, somebody's pissed off the locals. Yeah. I wonder who that is. Oh, hello. Hmm. Okay. Well, again, getting distracted. But anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you have enjoyed it, please do consider hitting that like button. It really does help the channel out. And uh, also please do consider hitting that, that uh, subscribe button to get uh, basically get alerts whenever I put new videos out. And anyway commanders, just remember, keep flying and stay shiny.